What is the smallest number of colors that can be used to color the vertices of a cube so that no two adjacent vertices are colored identically? Is the graph to represent a cube a planar graph? We can represent a three-dimensional cube as a two-dimensional graph as shown here. Notice how the graph is connected and no edges cross. This indicates the graph is planar. So to answer the second question first, yes, the graph is planar. Because we're asked to determine the smallest number of colors that can be used to color the vertices of a cube so that no two adjacent vertices are colored identically, they're asking us to determine the chromatic number of the graph, which is the smallest number of colors needed to get a proper vertex coloring, where a proper vertex coloring or proper coloring of a graph, G, is the assignment of colors to the vertices, such that all adjacent vertices have different colors. So we could just use trial and error to determine the chromatic number, or we can narrow down our search by determining the bounds of the chromatic number using the information in the lower right-hand corner. Because the given graph is not a complete graph, k sub n, or an odd cycle given by c sub 2n plus 1, the chromatic number, chi of g, is greater than or equal to the click number and less than or equal to del g. The click number is the number of vertices in the largest complete graph that is a subgraph of the given graph. In this case, the largest complete graph that is a subgraph of the given graph is just k sub 2, the complete graph containing two vertices, and therefore the click number is 2, and del g is the highest degree of any of the vertices of the graph. Notice in the graph, all the vertices have degree 3, because from each vertex, three edges are emanating, and therefore del g is equal to 3. So using the bounds, we now know the chromatic number of g is less than or equal to three, which is del g, and greater than or equal to two, which is the click number. This indicates the chromatic number is either two or three. Let's start with the inner vertices and color one of them blue. All adjacent vertices must be a different color. We'll color the adjacent vertices green, here, here, and here. The last inner vertex is adjacent to two green vertices, and therefore we can reuse blue for the last inner vertex. The outer vertex that is adjacent to this blue vertex can be colored green. This leaves two remaining vertices, both of which are adjacent to vertices colored green. We can color the last two vertices blue. Notice no two adjacent vertices have the same color, and therefore we have a proper vertex coloring, and the least number of colors it takes is two, which indicates the chromatic number of the graph is two. So now we know the chromatic number of the graph G is equal to two. And we already answered the second question, yes, the graph is planar. Because the chromatic number is two, two is the smallest number of colors that can be used to color the vertices of a cube so that no two adjacent vertices are colored identically. I hope you found this helpful.